what's happening with it, man? It's your boy T Mafiani, man, and we back with another reaction video. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all already know what to do, man. Make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure y'all share this video. You feel what I'm saying? Go check out tmafiani.com. Go check out the links in the description. We finna dive right into the video. We finna get right into it. You feel what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all stopping by, but we got something real interesting right now. You feel me? And anyways, Pistolero, this freestyle you're doing mm. in front of there. Because because the other thing is, bro, you you play the instruments as well, which is kind of like a lost start. Mm. More yeah. than one. Like, uh, all of them. And, 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 and your flow live or seeing it, like, no cuts or anything is just incredible. So, so while people, I don't, I don't know, I think. <laughs> but people then go, oh, but the MPC isn't plugged in. Huh. That was one of the, that was, that was, that was where the comments went. They, it was so, it was so good. The rap was so clean. The, the vibe was so clean. They went, oh, but the MPC isn't plugged in. It's an MPC mm. Live 2, my friends. There is a portable speaker and it's called Batteries. There is no plugs <laughs> they're needed. They're NPCs. That's yeah. why they're saying and you are an <laughs> NPC. NPC. Yeah. How, that no, was, but people are going to try to discredit. No, but I know, yeah. but I know the, it all boils down to one root, and I'm sure you'll agree with this. It's white hip hop. Oh, Bro, when, yeah, you come on, when you come on in white hip hop, you are mm -hmm. automatically discredited. You are yeah. automatically put on the cross that he described earlier. You are automatically a culture stealer, appropriator, whatever the fuck it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? And he's had to battle that the whole time. I won't deny that there is a, there is a subconscious stigma hmm. around that. Being white in hip hop, wow. it is like, and it's almost... To me, it's so funny because the streets fuck with me so tough. It's honestly from <laughs> other white people that give me the most shit. It always is. <laughs> so it like, always is. So. Um, that, and then the the crazy thing is, is there's only been one who's done it. Yep. Hmm. There's only been one who's done it and 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 crossed that line of we accept acceptance. Yep. And so mm, shut up, Vanilla Ice. You ha exactly. <laughs> <laughs> my boy Van Winkle <laughs> um, and so I think you know that is that's 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 the goal and you know to, to me I, I I cross that huh that's very interesting man um it's kind of sad you know we know that hip-hop culture black culture you know kind of uh, you know, definitely runs hip hop, of course, you know, runs, runs the music industry. Um, as far as the stigma goes, it's just like, you know, it's a shame because I look at it like this. People say culture vultures and stuff like that. And they try to attack me in regards to, you know, the whole black culture thing. And it's like, bro, I understand black culture. I'm a part of black culture, bro. Um, but I'm from the Bay Area. I'm from the West Coast. And if you're from the Bay Area and you're from the West Coast, you know, it, it, we were all in a melting pot, bro. That means you were with, it's white people, it's Mexican people, it's Asian people, it's Pacific Islanders. You get what I'm saying? Um, it's all, all races put in one place. Now, do you have racism and things of that nature? Yeah, but it's not as common as you would see it in the South or any other place. East Coast or something like that, it's not as common and it's not really in your face because we grew up together. You see what I'm saying? So it's white artists that's raw. You get what I'm saying? We just got to keep it a buck. It's some white artists that's raw. You feel what I'm saying? Um, and it's sad that their own race, you know, is who is attacking this man who's who's actually creating a path for other uh you know, other artists that are white, you get what I'm saying? Creating a path for them to feel comfortable to be within hip hop um, without, you know, without being called a culture vulture or a culture stealer. You get what I'm saying? I just believe that, hey, if you do hip hop and you good, you make music and you're good, make music. It doesn't really matter about your color or nothing like that, because if you're influenced by black culture, that's OK. The problem is, is when you try to uh act like you you didn't you, you weren't influenced by black culture and you discredit black culture and you 
you know, you, 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 you uh, disrespect black culture. That's when it becomes a problem. There's no problem with you, uh, MGK, being, you know, a, a white rapper. There's no problem with that. The type of music you make, uh, the rock star vibe that you got going on. You get what I'm saying? That's cool. You yourself. You know what I mean? You're not trying to be, like, from what I see, like, you're not trying to be a thug. You're not trying to be a gangster. And I'm not trying to affiliate that with black culture, but that's what black culture would say, okay, now you're trying to be something you're not. You know what I mean? Um, so I just think it's sad, you know. Um, you got to accept people for who they are, man. And, I, and I'm a firm believer that is, there's good and there's bad people. Um, all the, oh, you know, black culture this, black culture that, that's cool. You get what I'm saying? If that's what you want, that's cool. I love my black people. You get what I'm saying? But I got friends of all different races, though. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? That don't treat me different. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so it's hard for me to look at every race that way. I can't. I just can't do it because... I've been shown so much love from all all different type of races that I, I can't harbor that energy towards people that I don't know. You get what I'm saying? Now, if you show me that energy, okay, cool. You get what I'm saying? I see what time it is. But am I going to walk around life? Oh, this person's white. This person's Asian. This person in, or this person's Mexican and be acting funny about that? No. Like, I, I don't move that way. Um now, I think that's what has has got me to where I'm at, because, you know, um, one thing I like to say, like, you know, we 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 inference on black business, we inference on black culture, which is great. But I mean, now, what if what if white people were to say, hey, this is this is white owned business. Which they do, but they don't say it publicly like that. They accept all business for the most part, for the most part, they do you get what I'm saying. They don't say, oh, you're black. We can't. We can't do this for you. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't have access to our services. You get what I'm saying? They don't do that. You know what I mean? So it's like we're the only ones that do that. And maybe that's because of the state of where we are as black people as a whole. You see what I'm saying? Maybe it's just because we're so far down in the totem pole that that's why we react in the, in the way that we're reacting. And we, and we come to our senses to say, well, now we need to be putting the money into our community. You get what I'm saying? And building each other up, which I understand that completely. And that's just due to, to where we are in the race, um, of life. You get what I'm saying? Where we are in the, in the totem pole of life. You get what I'm saying? We're at the very bottom, uh, below the bottom. You get what I'm saying? Um, but it's just sad to see this happening in other races because it's like, bro, you either good at music or you're not. You're either getting better at music or you're not. You get what I'm saying? We can't sit here and criticize a man and then to get it from your own people. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's even more crazy. You know what I'm saying? When black folks, you know what I'm saying? We love, bruh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We accept, bruh. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's, it's a scary time that we're in, man. And, um, you know, you got to accept people for who they are, man, and, and believe what they show you. You get what I'm saying? But, um, you know, the stigmas, they got to go. That's why people are, some people are in the positions they are because it's just being afraid of the unknown. You get what I'm saying? You, you see all these things on the news. You see all these things on social media. And you think that that's how every specific race acts. And that's not correct. You know what I mean? That's not facts. You get what I'm saying? Now, is it majority? Could be. Is it half? Could be. You get what I'm saying? Is it 75%? Could be. But it's not 100%. So you have to take it with a grain of salt until you understand the character of the person you're dealing with. You get what I'm saying? But MGK, I just got to say that, you know, um, as far as performance goes, a uh, hell of a performer. Um, hell of an artist. You get what I'm saying? Um, he's not like my favorite artist. You get what I'm saying? I'm not going to get up on here in front and be like, yeah, I listen to MGK every day. No, absolutely not. But still have to give him his respect for what he is doing within the music industry and his influence on the younger generation of maybe white kids or kids that aren't black that want to rap and you know what I'm saying? And that respect the culture. We have, we have to give him that 
You see what I'm saying? So it's just it's just a messed up time we in, man. And uh, I just wanted to see what y'all think in the comments, man. Make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. You feel what I'm saying? Do you think that it's a lot of subconscious stigmas going on around race within music? You feel what I'm saying? I believe there is. Um, it's sad, you know, but where we are in life, you know, hip hop is all over the world. Hip hop is in Asia. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Hip hop is in the Middle East. Hip hop is in South America. Hip hop is in Canada. Hip hop is everywhere, which originated from black people. You get what I'm saying? So there's lines of respect for black culture there. So the fact that they've supported the genre, they've supported the culture, we have to at least allow them to create due to the influences that we uh, provided them. You get what I'm saying? They're influenced from us, and that's okay. You get what I'm saying? That's perfectly okay, you know? Um, so it's just sad to see where we at. But I want to know what y'all think, man. Make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure y'all share this video. Make sure y'all go check out tmafiani.com. Go check out the releases tab. Go check out my latest music. You feel what I'm saying? And I appreciate y'all, man. We finna get up out of here. <laughs>